Oh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and gamers to another Redstone Showcase. And today, well, we all know the term simplicity is a necessity, and I couldn't agree more. So today we're going to open up a simple Redstone door using a 10 by 10 by 7 area that is the most complicated way to do so. We're not boring here. So, this spawns in a skeleton that'll have it raise, spawn in a chicken that raises the skeleton that'll shoot the villager till it dies. Once it dies, it sets this off, which will fire into this, sending off the minecart, which will automatically begin firing up our furnace. Once that furnace is done smelting this item, oh, once it's done smelting the item and this is finished up, so it's even a little bit longer because it takes about a minute for this thing to despawn, but to speed it up for the sake of video, and then this will die out slowly but surely. That chicken just landed. There we go. Once that's done, it'll move on over here. It'll fire this off, fire that off. And ta da, we can come up here and we can open it with our brand new diamond pick. Thanks, game. Now, let's talk a little bit about how we built this. So, start off over here. All it is is a tripwire goes into a circuit that raises up a skeleton. Now the skeleton can see the iron golem when he try, so he'll try to shoot it when this block is moved to the side, which is when the villager is in here. Now you see, all this is is it goes up. It's like a triple torch right here, um, just to get it up there easily and have it be a consistent signal. And that makes it so it's opened. So the skeleton can see through and will shoot, try to shoot here, but the villager's in the way. And the villager's hitbox is too big, it'll hit the villager almost every time unless it shoots to the sides or too low. Um, once this guy dies, which, pardon me, but we'll just have to use a regular diamond sword for that. By the way, the light makes it so this doesn't go off soon. Then this fires, and it drops this down, and it spits out its block, which fires one arrow into this button, which will have this cart run back and forth for a minute until that arrow would despawn, or in this case, I pick it up, which sets this off, which starts up the furnace. It moves an item in, but it cannot be taken out until that ran out. So you see, and then this fires, and what this actually is, it's really, really weird. So what this circuit is, is it reads over here, goes over here, this is a monostable circuit, and it will push the block out quickly enough that this will actually have an update from the amount of light in here, because the front is all glass, which will send it over to here and send this so it picks it back up again. That way it's a very, very short time, so it sends a short signal over to here. There's a ton of pickaxes up here, and it will drop out your pickaxe to break your door. Very simple, very straightforward. Hope you guys enjoy it. It doesn't take too much to be able to do redstone. People always try and make it overcomplicated, but I mean, it can be just as simple as, well, let's actually name everything that's in here. Uh, there is a chicken tripwire. There is a skeleton shooter. There is a, basically a death, um, oh, what's it called? and Death Observer, which goes into an arrow uh, mechanism, which goes into a pulse light cleaner that uses a furnace to be able to create an item, which uses a weird glitch with the daylight sensor to put a pickaxe up here for you to break your door. Nice, simple, and straightforward. Hope you guys enjoyed, and let me know. It's 10 by 10 by 7. Can you make it more complicated than I can? Catch you guys back in the next one. Goodbye.